Hello there everyone, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be a Dolls Kill haul and I have got six items that I got from Dolls Kill. But first, before I show you the items, I wanted to show you this app. Yes, this video is sponsored by this app and it's called Shop Tagger. Now, the reason why I accepted this sponsorship and you guys know, you guys know, I have rejected thousands upon thousands of dollars from sponsorships because I didn't believe in the product. So this particular app, I have actually been personally a member of for about a year and a half because I did hear of it through another YouTuber and I, I can't remember who, by the way. Um, I downloaded it and I have been utilizing it on and off and Shop Tagger, I am going to screen record this so you can see it better but it's quite simple to use so this is the shop tag app I'm going to turn on my screen record um, but what this app does is you save items to it and you get notifications you can see up there I've got two notifications um, when things go on sale on these particular sites or the particular item is restocked so I'm going to quickly yep got notifications so back in stock alerts for ASOS um, and I'm going to go up here dolls kill and then let's go what's new shop all new so I'm on the page here of what's new for dolls kill and I love that belt this belt right here it's a suede gold buckled belt um, you guys know I love gold so the way to do it is not actually go into the product. Once you've looked at the product and you like it, you hold it down like that, press share, and then shop tagger is right there. So then you press that and it will save it to the app. And then I will get a notification if it comes back into stock, if it goes out of stock in the first place, or when it goes on sale. Um, I do this mainly with ASOS, but I also do it with Dolls Kill and a couple other websites. If you're interested in the app, go ahead, pick it up. It's it's free. You don't have to pay for anything. It's just, you know, a helpful tool if you want to save some money or you're interested in things that go in and out of stock. For those of you who live in countries that do Black Friday sales events, it's probably a good idea to utilize an app like this. Um, I've also screen recorded myself using this on the computer. So you go to the Shop Tagger website, you get up your bookmark bar, and then you add or drag and drop to your favorites bookmark area. This allows you to use it on regular websites. And as you can see, you just go to your website, you click on the plus tag, and then you can just go through and save everything on the page that you desire. Um, there's even a little tab up the top that says save all items if you're wanting to save every last thing on the page. Um, like I said, it's free, no harm, and they sponsored this video, so I want to thank them because it is hard to gain sponsors from products and brands that I particularly love and use. And um, also, I'm pretty sure most of the alternative YouTubers out there will attest, it's really hard to gain sponsors. So the fact that they actually wanted to work with me, I am thrilled. So thank you, Shop Tagger, and let's get into the video. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen some of these items. This first item is one of the unseen ones because I have yet to wear this. Um, I was going to wear it the other day, but I took it off because white is a bad idea for me sometimes, especially when I'm going out to Mexican. Mm, love some Mexican food, but I tend to drop it on myself. So it is this crop top and yes, it's quite simple and it just says, nobody. Who am I? Nobody. Um, I I chose this because I think that the, I don't know, the word nobody is how I feel most of the time. I feel like I'm a nobody. Um, my <laughs> Instagram bio for a really long time was just another person, basically. Who cares? I felt a connection with that top, so I kind of had to have it. 
The second top, and yeah, I only got two tops. This is a long sleeve crop top that has a zip. It doesn't fully zip down, but one thing I did notice with wearing this is that even when the zip is all the way down, it's still not enough to be completely uncomfortable with the amount of cleavage that is shown, for me anyway, um, so I really appreciate that. It's also a really heavy duty zipper, so I like that. And it's made of this, it is a woven cotton. I thought it would be like a scuba material when I saw it on the website, but when I got the package, yeah, it's actually a woven thick cotton. I did get another top. I'm really sorry, I forgot about this one. Um, it is a simple turtleneck long sleeve top made of a nice, very stretchy cotton, and it says Misfit on the neck. Now, if you remember to my last doll, bleh, if you watched my last Dolls Kill haul, you will see that I had another similar top to this that was a short sleeve and black that said Dead on it. Um, I really like these. I don't know, I've been into kind of slogans, um, slogans that are kind of understated, that kind of fit my aesthetic, and I've always been kind of a misfit. Why am I, why am I explaining? Why am I explaining my connection with words? So like the last top that I got from Dolls Kill of this style, it's, you know, nice cotton, nice and stretchy, and um, this one, it's a beautiful burgundy oxblood kind of color, and very easy to style as it has no patterning and I have lots of black skirts that that will go with. So with these next few items, I know you're going to be thinking, Re, are you okay? Blink twice if you've been kidnapped or cloned. No, I got some color. Um, so I've been liking florals, yellows, plaids, all of that stuff. Um, I don't know. I've been really into incorporating elements of color. Not, you know, I'm going to go wear all pink, but elements of color. When I saw this dress, I was kind of like, yeah, I kind of have to have that. I, I don't know, I really liked it. It's very dainty, but I feel like I can, I can work this into my wardrobe. Um, so it's got yellow and red um, flowers, roses, wh whichever and obviously little flecks of green leaves and stems and it's got beautiful black frill neck detailing and frills on the arms um, made of a sheer mesh it is a sheer a sheer dress however it does have a lining that is incredibly comfortable may i say and has a little bit of stretch to it um one thing that I wasn't 100% on with this dress is the type of fastening at the back. Um, I'm going to replace this button because it does like to get caught in my hair and you guys know anything that catches in my hair it, it kind of turns me off or I have to do some kind of modding and yeah that's what I'm going to do with this just because I don't want to risk my hair getting caught and this making a whole kerfuffle when I decide to wear it in public. So the second last item, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this. It is this skirt from the brand Current Mood, and it has these little detailings so you can attach chains. Um, I nearly wore it like that the other day, but I thought, you know, it's a bit much. Um, but yeah, it's a yellow plaid skirt that is also heavily pleated and has um, a rough rough edging so nice and frayed it's not overly frayed which i really like because i think there is such a thing as too far um, also i wanted to mention that again this zipper is so freaking thick and durable and i don't know it's like an industrial strength zipper Mm, I love it and it's a really thick material especially around the waistband it's like double or triple layered so yeah nice and thick very durable love this skirt it's probably my favorite plaid skirt at the moment the final item you guys know 
I love bell bottoms. They make me look taller. So I have um, bell bottom jeans and bell bottom um, vegan leather pants from Killstar. And now I have some, oh, they're inside out. Cause I wore them yesterday. Tie dyed bell bottoms. So they are, they've got an incredible flair. Can I just say that? An incredible flare and they totally made my lens flare just then um, they've got this lace-up detailing at the front one thing I, I thought these would be high-waisted um, because I did see them on the model on the website and she was significantly taller than me um, so I don't know why sometimes I do this I, I just assume I'm smaller in general so it must be high-waisted no it does come up a bit higher on me than the model, but um, not high-waisted. But nonetheless, I I adore these and I love how long my legs look when I wear them. And um, I like how my butt looks when I wear these. I don't know. I, I, I'm like the Grinch in the mirror when I put these on. Just, you know, ooh, ah, uh, looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> that sounds so vain, but it's the honest truth. Cause uh, you know, I work hard. I do lots of squats. I do lots of stuff at the gym. I walk, I run. So sometimes I just like to go, mm. I'm okay with a part of my body today. So sometimes vanity can be empowering because it sure beats the alternative of utter self-loathing which I'm pretty sure we've all been there we've all done that so if you're loving something about yourself take a photo of it post it to the world I will be the first person to say you go girl you look good feel your oats as Gia Gunn would say so that is all for this haul video. All the links to the items mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. Also, I want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to ShopTagger for wanting to sponsor me, wanting to work with me. Um, I am just happy that, you know, I get a lot of requests for sponsors and I reject most of them because they're not things that I use or want to use or want to even bother promoting. Um, so I am glad that something that I've been using for about a year, year and a half, possibly, no, it couldn't be up to two years, but about a year and a half, um, they actually wanted to work with me. So I'm really, I'm really happy about that. Um, I can't even begin to explain how happy I am about that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to be here for every single video. Like this video if you enjoyed this haul. Comment down below what your favorite item was. Also I have some really exciting videos coming up but if you have any ideas that you would like to see on this channel pop them in the comments section down below or you can DM me on Instagram or anywhere. Um, I'm usually I try to be as responsive as I possibly can um, but yeah, I try. Um, I'm only human. And I hope you all have an amazing, fantabulous, wonderful day. I love you guys and I hope you have a great day. I've already said that, but I love you guys. See you in the next video.